Right, so let's have a look at this um, this question. This is what um, question twenty two. So near the end, um, I really like this. This is non non copyright paper. It was very mean looking. Um, I really didn't think think so, but then I use this kind of technique for solving problems. So my my usual way is um, well, actually, stop the video, here, have a go, have a go. It take your time. Um, and then I'll show you the kind of things that I think about and how I get there. Okay. So what I've got is a stepwise procedure. Step one, what maths am I using? Step two, actually step two is what maths am I using? Step one is what maths is in the question? Um, step two is which one am I going to use? Um, which one shall I try? So what I do, um, and thirdly test it, and, and and it works for every single kind of problem-solving question I've come across. So the first kind of thing I do is, well, what kind of mass is in the question? And then I pick one. So as I get rid of that, I'm going to go step by step. So step one, I'm just going to clear some space up here. What maths is in this question? And when I go through it, the first thing I've kind of realised... And you've got to underline the key words. Is one the congruent parallelograms? A, B, and B, C are both X. P is a point, and here we are talking about P. So it's the, the point on C, D, so it's the BP equals BQ, so this is BP and BQ, so these two are the same. That's a really funny looking line. Let's just get that out of the way. So this is BP and this is BQ. And those two um, are equal to 10. So you've got to be kind of careful because you you do kind of fill this paper up when you label it. Given that angle ABC equals 30, so this is angle ABC, and I'm just going to change colour. I'm going to make it quite big so I can see it from there to there. That's 30. Mm -hmm. 30 degrees. Um, prove that cos PBQ equals 1 minus 2 minus root 3 over 200 x squared. So, well, it's trig. But when I look at the x squared, well, it could be Pythagoras as well. Maybe, I don't know. And that is where, when I have students, they normally stop. But you've got to go a bit beyond that. You've got to dig into detail. And what I mean by that is, well, Pythagoras is Pythagoras. Um... But trig, wow, it triggers multiple points. You've got your very basic trig, so Kartoa. Then you've got the sine rule, and then you've got the cos rule. So you've got to dig into deep. You can't just look at it and say, well, it's trig. But which version of trig, which species of which flavour of trig am I going to use? Well... It could be cos, cos rule. And the reason it could be cos rule is because one, it says cos right in front of you. And two, it's got a squared. Now, what have we got? A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. Okay. So, we, we've got our cos rule. I've written the basic cos rule that you all need to remember. Well, it could be this. All right, so then we have a look at cos PBQ, that's cos 30, is equal to this. And I've got an X, and X is the line here. And what they're asking me is the value of cos there. So we use a cos rule, but that turns into a triangle here. Okay. All right. So... We're finding cos, oh, cos PBQ, cos PBQ. Actually, we're finding that line there. All right, cos PBQ is there. It's, it's on the inside. And the only way to work out the inside is, well, if we work out this side here, and we've got a 200, which means it's going to have something to do with those tens as well. All right, fine. So let's find out this line here. Um, well, we can't. Well, let's find out the line above it. Uh, let's find out cos AC. Okay. So we know cos... 30. And if we go back to my previous video, there's a video in it of what cos 30 is. And cos 30, 
will come from this unitary triangle in the book. I want to, and cos 30 is cos theta is A over H. A is root 3. H is my hypotenuse, root 3 over 2. So we've got cos 30 is root 3 over 2. And if we call that A, this one becomes little A right here. All right. So A squared is going to be the line we're trying to find, A squared, equals B squared. Now, a, a, B and C are both going to be X squared, X squared, plus X squared. I'm trying to find out length of A. Minus 2 times X, which is B times X, times root 3 over 2. Okay. Let's move this up a bit now. So if I simplify this out, I have X squared plus X squared. So A squared equals 2X squared minus 2X squared times root 3 over 2. Well, I'm going to deal with this side first. So we've got 2, the times 2, and divide by 2. So I can, without really thinking too much, oops, there's a, I can get rid of the times 2 because I want to divide 2. X squared root 3. Okay. And here it kind of, in your head, you, you, you've, you, you, and I don't know if I see it because I teach you a lot of maths. I don't know if it's because of that, but, but what you do is, if you can't see where to go from here, we'll have a look at this. It's got 2 minus root 3. And if you look, I've got 2 minus root 3 in there as well. So what I end up with is a squared is equal to, and I factorise it, I take out my x squared, to give me 2 minus root 3. So that gives me that side here, squared. I could root it, but at this point, what I tend to do is rooting it kind of makes that look a bit horrible. So I'm trying to find this angle here. All right. So for that angle, I've got to rearrange rearrange my, my cos expression. So I'm going to go uh, minus b squared. You can even memorize it. And if you don't like memorizing, you'd go a squared minus b squared minus c squared divided by minus 2bc. And that'll give me cos a. Right? And cos a is pbq. Okay, okay. So now, now we're going to kind of head down here. So a squared, well, we've already got a squared. It's x squared times 2 minus root 3. Minus b squared. Now b squared here, and we'll be careful, b squared on this is one of these lines which we know is 10. So it's minus 10 squared minus 10 squared divided by minus 2 times 10 times 10. Okay. And what we will end up here, and you've got to do it step by step, and really just simplify. Minus 100 minus 100 minus 200 divided by minus 2 times 10 times minus 200. Okay. So at this point, and if we go back to our question, it's all divided by 200 it's minus 200. We've got this one coming from somewhere, this, this one here. And this is where use of fractions comes in, because I'm, I'm just going to switch these around. So I'm going to minus 200 plus x squared times 2 minus root 3. All over minus 200. Okie dokie. And, this, and at this point, you have fractions come in. And what I can do is I can break this down into two fractions. Uh, 2 minus root 3 over 200. It's both the same thing. Right? If you don't get it, I've, I've, I've done another video and I will do another, uh, another video. Again, explaining where these, how we can split these fractions so, up. Minus 200 over minus 200 is 1 plus x squared 2 minus root 3 over minus 200. That really looks untidy. So I can change that to a negative. 2 minus root 3 over 200. And there I am. It's done. 
Okie dokie, my guys. I hope you enjoyed that and hope it made some sense. Right, and if you're not one of my guys, hope it made some sense anyway. <laughs>